Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest update for Pixel uh, Plus UI. So basically, the Pixel Plus UI is a very nice ROM. And as you can see in the um, quick settings itself, the date has been a little bit modified. Uh, you can see the uh, time 1259 and along with that uh, you can see um, the date being written in uh, monet uh, color. So basically there are some little bit customization and you can enable the fluid UI for quick settings customizations too. And coming to the ROM, uh, the ROM comes with the G apps. So of course you can expect a few Google applications like uh, uh, photos play store and stuff like that these are normal app applications which i normally use um, when using mm, roms so uh, there is no default camera application that comes with the rom either you can install bsg google camera or any google camera from play store um, no i have in, i have uh, installed two cameras one is graphene os camera and the second one is google camera go Banking applications do work fine with the ROM since the ROM passes a Play Store certification default. So you don't need to use any sort of modules to make the Play Store certified. Um, the ROM is ROM comes with the default Google Dialer and Google Messages app. The ROM is actually using Google Launcher. And let us go to the settings. Now the settings um, page has been a little bit modified. You can see the uh, settings icon, icon, page icons has been changed. And there is also a small greeting over here. Uh, you can set custom greeting uh, title. So um, basically you can do that. Let me change and show it to you. So basically let us put it as George. That's my name. So yeah, you can see uh, you can change the name and all. And uh, let us come to the uh, about phone section and um, go to the android version 13 now you can see the pixel person pixel plus ui version is 5.2 uh, the um the, the rom is official and the maintainer for this rom is iman and hi raccoon um, then the android version is 13 the android security update is 5th of january 2023 the kernel that's been that i have flashed to use in the in the in the rom is 4.19.157 and yeah the default kernel is green force so i have changed that kernel sc linux status is permissive maybe that is because i have changed the kernel or something like that so um right now it is actually um permissive so um let us come back to the settings page now um pixelizer is where you can actually find the customization so basically the first one you will have is buttons so basically you can switch over the position of uh, volume panel from right to left or something like that so this is how the volume panel looks like gestures basic uh, um, basic uh, customizations are here lock screen so again basic customization like tap to sleep lock screen tap to sleep on status bar and stuff like that then you can enable and disable ripple effect then miscellaneous icon manager you can manage the status bar icon you can enable or disable status bar icons and notifications um, themes so basically you can uh, have uh, custom themes like you can choose your own um, your own background uh, theming so if you want to uh, choose different color source definitely you can use and the preset if you choose preset you can actually choose to have your own uh, background color and accent color quick settings you can enable uh, the fluid user interface quick, se uh, quick settings style from here just by enabling uh, this toggle button and you can also adjust to have um, background transparency so basically I have uh, disabled the blur so um, see if you are actually using it with blur um, there can be some lag I am not sure I didn't uh, test it so if you are actually using blur you can also adjust the background transparency um, then status bar network tra traffic indicator so there are three modes to be customized in download upload and dynamic then you can adjust the network traffic indicator font size too 
then you can customize the clock and date background chip is not available in this rom then battery style you can choose to have different sort of battery styles so these all are the customizations that are available with the rom the rom seems to be pretty much stable and i didn't notice any big uh, any any bugs so far um, so if you prefer to use a rom with the minimal customization definitely you can try to have pixel plus ui once again many thanks to the maintainers of the rom they did an amazing job in uh, putting a lot of effort in making the rom pretty much stable for our uh, device so i would like to thank them for their efforts and i would like to thank you for watching my rom review video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel do not forget to press the bell icon thank you